Okay. Now I'm going to take you through the skin work um, tools. There's so many tools here. It's just going to take me a while to get through them. But uh, I can take you through, again, a lot of them are pretty explanatory. Uh, let me take you through the ones that are real obvious. Uh, apply skin with initial settings and bones. Um, if you apply skin to an object, typically it, uh, it looks, you know, the way that it scales the bones is weird. So I, I, I set up an initial setting. So I, can't, I don't know how else to really explain it uh, right now. But let me, uh, um, let me show you something here. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, cool. Um, drivers, no, yeah, drivers. I'm gonna grab just the knee here. Um, and I'm gonna show you a little, a little awesome tool that I came up with. Uh, that someone else did that. Uh, did a little flavor of it, and I thought, oh, it works. Because the first time I tried to do this was Max five or something like that and I delete the skin morph because it's, it's in the way right now so let's do that now the tool that I'm about to show you is called I forget the name because I use it without even thinking about it now uh, skin weight drag um, there's two different di there's a few different ways to do this uh, the first one is dragging the outer envelope based on where you're dragging the mouse okay so I put my I, sele I select my bone and I run my script which is on a hotkey it's easier for me to show it to you this way it really needs to be on a hotkey you can't do this uh, on a button because the, the script starts based on where you're starting you also do not want to do this in multiple viewport mode because as soon as you cross over into a new viewport it messes it up so you need to be full screen and there's the outer envelopes like so the inner envelope or select an envelope okay now the way this works let me show you based on the uh, verts much easier okay so I have the knee selected right so I'm gonna grab these verts right here and I'm going to drag their weights based on where my mouse is. So without clicking on anything, I just put the mouse here and I click my hotkey. Now, as I move to the right, it'll increase the weights of those verts. Okay? The higher up I go, the more pronounced that change will be. So if I do it here, you'll notice that the change is very slow. Depending, you know, depending on how fast I move my mouse to the right, the further I go to the right or left, the more increase it is based on where I started. If I, if I, the further up I go from my start point, the more multiplied that change is. Okay, so let's try that again. So I'll start here and I'll show you what I usually do is I go at an angle, like this. So the further I go, the more pronounced it is. Okay, and it's just scaling the weight. So if something has zero weight, it's not going to do anything. You see? So what I like to do in those cases, I'll grab like this stuff, and I'm going to do a little click, click right there so it's affected. Right now, when I actually do the drag, you'll see what's happening. Okay? So you grab a couple points. You know, you can grab a point if you want and just weight it like this. Uh, see how this one needs to be a little bit further back? Uh, I can click this and increase the weighting until it's nice, you know, I get a nice straight line or whatever. Um, okay. And I can grab a whole bunch of verts like this. And it's, there's really no lag. It just works. Okay. So that allows you to do vertex weighting much quicker. Okay. You can paint and stuff, but this way you can just drag a vert. And based on your mouse location, it'll weight that vert. It'll scale the weight of that vert. Okay, so I could do that and then just scale the weight so that those verts. Okay, so that's it for that. Um, I also have a couple tools here. Uh, skin quick weight. Okay, so I can say, okay, zero weight, you know, full one, 0 0.5, 0 0.75, or 0 0.25, 0 0.75, and then in between. So let's say, you know, 
barely has any weight. 0.25 completely has weight. Okay, just a little quick tool to let you get to those numbers a lot quicker, uh, and it works on multiple verts as well. Um, Again, I just want to take you through the, the ones that I, I'm not going to really show you and explain them real quick. Um, for example, oh, here's the cross-section mouse drag scale. Uh, envelope mouse drag, inner and outer size. Uh, load envelopes. I'm sorry about the dogs. <laughs> mirror mode toggle is obvious. It just toggles mirror mode on and off. See, it's on now. Uh, I have a hot key for that, like so. Uh, what I like to do is mirror mode toggle, mirror blue to green, and turn it off. So you can mirror uh, blue to green, green to blue, verts, or bones. Um, comes in real handy just to do it real quick. Uh, paint weight brush. This allows you to change the size of the brush. Uh, these are kind of legacy at this point because these allow you to use hotkeys. But now you can hold shift and control to change the size of the brush. So I don't really use it. I just kind of left it in case anyone else was. Uh, paint weight brush quick set. This allows you to change the weight of the brush using this. Um, so if I go to the uh, options, you'll see the strength has changed. I love this one. Basically, uh, for example, let's say, uh, let me see. See all these bones that are here? Uh, none of them are affecting this. What I can do if I want is I can say remove bones not in use. So double click that. You can see any bone that is not influ influencing a vert will be removed. So I'm only so I only have the bones here that are actually affecting uh, my character, my object. So you can see this particular bone is only affecting a couple of verts. So let's go ahead and select these and make the weights zero. Okay. So now if I run that again, that bone is removed. It's gone now. Okay. Remove multiple bones. Uh, it's just a front end to remove multiple bones here. Um, save envelopes, load envelopes, just a quick way to get to those. Uh, select verts that are excluded. Selected, uh, selected verts that are uh, no, exclude from all bones or exclude from the selected bone. Selected vert reset weight. Uh, selected bone copy and paste. So you can do that with a hotkey instead of having to hit copy and paste here. Uh, I can select a bone here and then double click this and it'll select all the verts that are actually uh, being affected by that particular bone. So if I select this bone here right let me turn that off so it's easy to see right now I'll double click this and you'll see all the verts that are being affected by that bone are now selected well <laughs> I used it one time so I wrote a script for it I haven't really had to use it again but it does come in handy believe it or not uh, skin copy weight so I can copy the weight of a vert and paste it to another vert skin paste weight as you can see um, mirror mode paste so I can select a vert and while I'm in mirror mode and hit that as a hotkey and it'll paste those weights or uh, a bones weight whatever I have selected it mimics the uh, it, it mimics this button right here mirror mode paste, just so you don't have to go clicking to it you know uh, get skin element obvious um, it's the same as hitting uh, you know select element and then clicking on a vert same thing. Um, filter verts. These are all real self-explanatory. What I want to get into is uh, some of these other ones here. Let me go ahead and hide that. Uh, new. Yes. <laughs> 